Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap, back at it again and today we are here as you may have seen from a thumbnail because of Battle Wars, they had some support in the latest box so I'm pretty happy to play them and they're really spiced to be honest um, and yeah I also found the, I think it is in the thumbnail, a trap card that it is kind of broken to be honest but before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe i really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so i'm here with burkido because the skill i'm using is um insect uprising so this is the skill this is a skill i already used back in the day when i tried something with battle wasp uh, you should find that video on the channel, it's pretty old to be honest, but you know, it's always nice to remember. And <clears throat> what exactly uh, what exactly Insect Uprising does is that if you have three, three or more insect type monsters on your field, you can activate the skill during your man phase and lower the attack of all your opponent's monsters um, by, 80, uh, by 800 points. And that is huge for two things. Because this skill has no limitation. You can use this once per turn, but how many times during the duel you want. And the second thing that is even more broken is that the actually the uh, the reduction of the uh, of the attack it's not until the end of the turn. So this means that you just lower by 800 points. And it's like that. And if next turn you do it again, it would be 1600. So it's just insane. And of course, what's the point of this? I mean, how can we combine these little guys right here with the skill by spamming insects and protecting the ones we already have on the field? And to do that, let's start from this spicy trap card. I'm not sure this is new though. Instead it is, so it's from the new box, but it's actually a rare, actually a common card. It's Battle Wasp Nest. It's a continuous trap card, and it says when your Battle Wasp monster is targeted for an attack, special summon one Battle Wasp monster from your hand or deck, and already there it would be broken, like you special summon a monster from your deck, it is not, um, uh, you know, it's not bond, it does not have a bond with this card, so this means that if this card leaves the field, the monster gets to stay on the field, so if we stop there, this card is already broken, because you can just um, summon the searcher from your deck, that gets you a, a search, it's insane, but it's not <laughs> actually over, and if you do, you place one counter on this card, then end the battle phase. So this card not only does you, does allow you to um, special summon a battle wasp any from your deck, but also it ends the battle phase. And you know how powerful this is in Duel Links uh, because we have no main phase too. So it it just goes straight up to the end phase. In insane, honestly. Um, the, the point is that it, this being a continuous trap card, of course, has another fact that you can you can use this effect twice before sending this card to the graveyard. Because after you send after you summon this guy actually uh, from your deck, you have to uh, put a counter on this, and um, when and when he has two or two counters, you basically have to send this card to the graveyard. So it's just two times use, but it's insane. Uh, I know it's of course a, a slow card because you have to wait for your opponent to attack and of course your opponent can uh, pop it before you actually manage to activate it uh, but you know when it comes in, when it comes into play it is simply broken honestly and this of course will help you have most of the times the three monsters that the skill requires in order to lower your attack your opponent's monsters attack uh, and then moving forward to what we have, we have the new addition, the Battle Wasp Sting the Poison, this guy is really cool because it does not get you a search every time it is normal or special and it does not miss the timing but also it has a negation effect, as a quick effect you can tribute to one other insect type monster so actually alone it, it does nothing um, and you can target one monster your opponent controls and negate its effect so it does not need to be chained to that monster's effect. Activation, you can just activate during the chain because it simply targets the monster. 
Um, of course, uh, this is not an issue, the fact that you have to uh, tribute one other insectine monster, because um, assuming that you normal summon this little guy right here, uh, on normal summon you can just have any of these two guys, uh, both the uh, twin bow um, and the uh, pin the bullseye are able to be special summoned by their own effect, so you can just go your turn one with this, add any of this or this one, special summon this guy, end your turn and you have your negation. So. That's pretty nice. Of course, their special summon is pretty nice because uh, it allows you to go into more uh, more synchro summon. But keep in mind that if you special summon this guy with its own effect from your hand, you will be able to uh, synchro summon actually to special summon only insect type monsters from your extra deck. While instead, if you special summon this guy, you can start, you have no restriction basically. And the last battle boss monster is something we already knew. Uh, it is the Arbalest Rapid Fire, pretty nice as well. Pretty nice attack, 1800. Uh, level 4, when he's normal summoned, you can target one level 3 or lower monster, insect type monster, and you can special summon it. So you can do it both with your uh, Sting the Poison, thus triggering again the search, or with this guy. But if you special summon this guy with the effect of the uh, of Arbalest, of course, you're not locked into insect type synchro summon. That's pretty nice. Uh, also, it has a, another nice effect that if it's destroyed by battle or cut effects, um, uh, you can special summon a battle boss monster from your end or deck so this is actually a pretty nice defense especially if it is a face down and your opponents actually cannot uh, foresee it um, this is actually all for the uh, battle wasp and then for the battle wasp monster for the battle wasp card we also have a revival swarm a crazy card guys target one battle for monster in your graveyard special summon it and actually this is not once per turn the once per turn requirement is only for the second effect that says you can banish this card from your graveyard and you can do it in the same turn you actually activate it uh, you can target one insect type monster you control it cannot be destroyed by battle or cut effects until the end of the turn so it is only um, vulnerable to banishment that's really 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 cool uh, also, as I told you guys, if you have a couple of these in your hands, you can use both of them to revive and this, of course, makes your synchro summons easier. Um, and what we have um, left is, of course, some staple, but actually it's uh, Entrap, a couple of Sphere Creep and a couple of Kydroid. The couple of Kydroid is just to, you know, um, um, fill the, um, the limitation to your spot, uh, while the Sphere Creepo is a little bit better for this deck just because it saves the monster, thus actually um, giving you more chances to go into your Synchro Summon and of course to use the skill, so Sphere Creepo is be better honestly. Um, and this is all for the extra deck, instead we have the Battle Wasp stuff, the new guy, one is more than enough, pretty busted itself. Um, even if, to be honest, with all this lowering stuff that we have, its effect is a little bit too much, like banishing all the insect type monsters and not be able to choose, it's a little bit too much, to be honest. Um, it has piercing damage, pretty nice, and if it is uh, destroyed by an opponent's card, both by either by battle or card effect, you get special summon 3 of your banished level 1 monster, level 11 monster, uh, or lower, that's pretty nice, honestly. For the Barbos stuff, we have the Azusa and the um, uh, the Albert. Albert is pretty nice because if he attacks a monster with higher attack, you can halve it. Um, uh, so you know it's it can be a nice choice. I mean, uh, and he can so he can take out uh, some pretty big monsters unless they have like more than 5k. That's pretty. Uh, uncommon and then we have the Azusa and he said there's a nice effect only for the fact that he can come back um, in defense position if um, a monster is destroyed by battle with your battle wasp monster so this means even if you attack with the battle wasp and your opponent's monster is destroyed uh, um, or if <clears throat> your opponent's monsters attack and he pops your battle wasp monster the effect will trigger in both these situations and then for the genetic stuff actually we have also the uh, conquering bow Pretty nice because he can attack twice and also he can lower the attacks as well. Um, and it's pretty nice actually here to go with the um, uh, with the synchro monster as material because we have a Zusa that is a tuna. Pretty nice. Um, and it can be actually your best harm, for, your best weapon to go for lethal. And then for the genetic level 7 we have Fiddler Zera, it can actually happen to uh, be done with uh, your level 4, your Sting the Poison, the level 1. 
um, and um, this actually has you know it's an interruption during your opponent's turn the black rose dragon to clear the field just in case you need it and you'll be surprised of how many times i managed to pull out this big boy right here the trishula is just so easy to summon once that you have the nest of course because you hand the battle face you get to keep your boy on the field and it's simply to use because you can just go with your harbalist your twin the attacker and distinct the poison keep in mind if you summon twin bow with its own effect it's true that you are restricted you're limited into synchro insect synchro summon but of course only for that turn so if you end the turn and then you protect your stream body attacker and it remains on the field the next turn you can use it for any synchro summon guys don't miss the replay they are pretty nice i hope you enjoyed this list let me know what you think in the comment section down below and we can jump right into the replays here we go my boys a first replay against Saul burner and let's see what we have but i have a feeling so it has to go first um just begin with the sting the poison i had the uh, twin bow just to have a monster to trip it you know in case um he's, he's activating something and we have the trap card to be chilling and actually surprisingly that is not Solomon great but it is magnite so it's got the Menecta avram to attack at this point i can just use my trap that is broken nest to summon the uh, bullseye and and the battle face now it's our turn and we can just insect uprising reduce the attack synchro summon into a halberd and then we can normal summon the harbalist to grab the sting the poison back using the effect grabbing the twin bow at this point we can just summon the battle was pin the bullseye we can use its effect to inflict some damage it's just 200 but why not and then synchro summon into terrestrial we have nine as you can see right there banish the stuff and he just scooped that's just you just go through your on your opponent scoops i think it's just a rule you summon through on your opponent goes away that's how you do it my boys there you go second duel my boys interrupting a two win streak against jade and let's see what we have uh it's um him to go forth just a couple of back rows i have no clue what he's playing so it's us to go we disting the poison he's got the warning point though so no search but we still can use the effect during next turn because you can just special summon the twin team the attacker and the bullseye as you can see right there we have the trap so we can just inflict some damage but the point keep in mind is that you cannot use the trap if you have your um, uh, uh, monster zone uh, clogged, of course. So keep in mind, you have to use this effect to negate something because you are able to use the effect of nest. Also, this little guy can attack twice. I don't know why he has this effect, but it's pretty nice. 2k, there you go. He's got the Cyclone to get rid of my trap card and he's down to 800 life points. All, uh, all at once, he's got the fusion time skill and he's got polymerization. So I think heroes are coming with SQD Dao. Um, and Escuri Dao can just attack, um, that's fine, I take the damage, and at this point we have you know, the Bullseye, uh, in fact to inflict some more damage, we have the Nest again, it's got the attack, there you go Nest to summon the Tuner and get actually another to our hand, of course level 4, that's the one we miss, and at this point we can just uh, uh, inflict some more damage, then insect uprising, reduce the attack, synchro summon into Azusa, then um, normal summon the uh, rapid fire to bring back the level 3 and he just scooped because of course here the Trishula could have come but also the level 12, everything, you, you could have summon anything you want, nest is simply broken my boys, there you go. Third duel, my boys, this time against Salborner again. Will, will this be Salomon Great? It has to go first. We, can, we just have the, um, uh, the rapid fire. We set the bullseye, some damage. And then we have enough defense, both the trap card. We have some stuff. It's got the circle to begin with, so this is. It's actually official. We have Salomon Great. Gazelle to begin with. Uh, uh, Link summoning the Balanix after he sent the road to the graveyard. So of course Sanctuary to be sent um, to for some extra Link summon. He used it right here, so I guess he has no more no more monsters in his end. That's pretty strange. He's got the roars that comes back. That's fine. He's got the special summon of Magnite. So this is Magnite plus Salomon Great. Another. Um, Cancer combo, I guess. Um, you know, Salomon Great already spam monsters that much, so adding something that spams monsters even more, it's really degenerate, honestly. So it's got the effect of the Mac Knights to add some more cards to his end, the World Legacy's memory, and all this stuff, of course, as you can see right there, with the Morning Starling summon. 
to grab the uh, trap card and negate the effect of monsters that are in the same same, in same column uh, as Mac Knight. He's got the Red Moon to pop my Rapid Fire that triggers his effect to special summon the Sting the Bow, uh, the Sting the Poison that add me another Rapid Fire. He is the effect once again to pop it, but I went for the effect of Sting the Poison to negate that because I didn't want him to leave me with no other monsters. He tried anyway, I don't know why, maybe he does not read. Monsters move, that's fine, to special summon another one. He went for the attack, but Nest says no thank you. So you can have all the monsters you want, but I can just nest you out and hand the battle face. That's how you do, my boys. There you go. Then Synchro Summon to begin with. And this was uh, kind of a mistake. Maybe not, because I went with the Zusa, then Rapid Fire to have my... Um, um, uh, my monsters count up to three, but he used the effect of your legacy secret that was uh, actually not a mistake because you could have used it anywhere. I mean, he has mech knights everywhere. So I just attacked the Balnix at this point and then the rapid fire to um, pop itself in order for me to have the sting the poison at this point. Why? Because I wanted to have a. Um, a actually a monster to negate but it was a mistake honestly because as you can see right there I can't do nothing I mean I can't negate so this was not a good move he's got the red moons effect to pop it and then no other stuff to banish that's why he attacked but my Ness says no thank you I can summon my rapid fire from the deck I'm chilling then normal summon of the uh, twin bow the effect to decrease the attack and now I normal summon this guy so I can go into any synchro summon I one uh, but instead I just stopped because at this point he can't do nothing he can't link summon he can't do nothing so I just waited for him to attack again I used the nest uh, um, and uh, but I couldn't actually summon the, the guy straight away because my all my monsters zones were clogged so he attacked again this time I can summon this big this little guy and now I can use the effect of a skin of the insect uprising once again no bull size effect that's fine insect uprising still works now we have Halbert to begin with, then another nest ready, and I mean, there's nothing we can do because now that we use Insect Uprising two times, we have little true Halbert, that's how you do it, my boys, stall them out until Halbert can do it. That's how you do it, my boys, there you go. This was our fifth win in a row against the Yuto. Let's see what we have. Kisian King, Xiang Sheng. Another deck is going to be broken for this KC Cup. Um, it's him to go first. Let's see what can he bring out um, from the hats. Uh, he's got, the, of course, the skill, the uh, a couple of level 7. Actually, 3 level 7 or level 5, that's fine. So the Doom, Doom Rider is here, he can pop a monster during my turn. Uh, we have the Battle Wasp Team Bow to begin with, uh, and now we can we can normal summon this girl, and just the Nest, because you can't do nothing else, we pop that. Maybe it was not the best choice, because we fleed the slot actually, so it was a mistake. He's got the Performable Second Donkey, then the Duco Rider to pop my Twin Bow, that's still fine. Now I can go with another Doom Rider, um, and uh, then he went for the um, level 5 again, and the level 4, he's got two level 4s into Malevolent Sin. This could be an issue because you can just get rid of this, no nest activation this time, but luckily for me I've got the Kydroid, even if I actually made them that misplay in the previous turn. So Kydroid again, we're chilling. The um, uh, our little girl comes back. Unfortunately, we just had the rapid fire, another rapid fire, so no tuner. We can't do nothing. Uprising to reduce the attack, and I start attacking. It's got the Doom Rider's effect, but popping the uh, rapid fire triggers uh, its effect, so I can summon the tuna, as you can see right there. Grabbing it, Battle Wasp to my hand, and now I can just negate the effect of my level at sin. But I decided not to because you can just uh, if read the slot basically. So nest to summon another guy, handing the battle phase with the nest just too good to be honest and uh, unfortunately rapid fire goes to graveyard because all my slots are occupied insect uprising again to reduce their attack once again then Azusa uh, I went for the rapid fire summon to bring back the twin body attacker into Trishula of course as you can see right there to banish also the pendulum the pendulum skill then revival swarm into the level 2 because uh, level 2 because now I can grab some more monsters and then um, some more damage with the bullseye um, and boom as you can see 
Ballista the Armageddon using Trishula, using the effect, banishing everything, so everything's gonna have zero attack. We have already lethal for this, but we, all, we can also summon the Twin Bow that, that can attack two times, just, you know, just because it's nice to end it with the Twin Bow. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, seventh win in a row. Uh, it's against Sivio Sawarari. Let's see what we have here. So it's him to go first. I expect Abisactor or um, Yosenju. There you guys got Yosenju, as you can see right there. He crafted the fire formation though, so this means that uh, he already has a, his worst thing to his end. That's the only reason, right? So he's got the Hisna. Uh, so he, can have, he has a couple of Yosenju. He can draw a card with the effect of Hisna to begin with, and then he's left with uh, one back row so let's see what we have um, it uh, now has to go we have the nest as well so sting the poison to grab the rapid fire then the effect of twin mode the attacker uh, in defense position in the bullseye in uh, defense position in defense position to inflict some damage then the nest and there's nothing to do because at this point I can just you know um, he summons the Kama, but I can just use the effect of Sting the Poison, tribute the Bullseye, and negate that. So no more summon for you, and if he attacks, as he did, Nest, to bring out uh, a, a level 4 from uh, the deck. So this means next turn, my Trishula is coming. Also, this guy gets stuck on uh, the field, Insect Uprising to begin with, Trishula to begin as a Synchro Summon, banishing some stuff. And then rapid fire to uh, to take back the level two that adds a level one. So this means special summon on the level one, and we have a level seven after the level nine synchro summon. Uh, but I decided not to go because I felt that was something that was not Yosenju because it was still activatable, and I was correct because he's got the um, uh, the compulsory. Uh, I can just attack with the rapid fire. That's fine because we can still negate. I decided to keep my sting the poison on the field because I wanted to be able to negate just in case something went wrong. He knew it and he just scooped. So that's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Guys, that was all for today's videos. I hope you enjoyed my version of Battle Wasp. They're pretty, they're pretty good, to be honest. Not broken, but in my opinion, definitely cock-worthy. So guys, that was all for today's videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.